Who murdered all these animals? I can't believe it. These are the remains of hundreds of small creatures. This is so incredibly disturbing, guys. I'm going to have to do my own little crime scene investigation. There must be between one to three hundred dead animals in here. Wow, this can only be the work of a true killer. Are you as curious as I am? Then let's start the intro for this video. My name is Bart Coppens and I'm in a research house for biologists in the rainforest. However, this house hasn't been used for a long time and I notice it has been infested by bats. And the bats left us nice presents behind. You see, they are messy eaters. They discard the remains of the animals they hunt and throw them on the ground. And we are going to see what they've been eating. The answer may shock you. Let's put on a glove. Bats and also their excrement can contain many sorts of diseases. I don't want to be responsible for COVID-20, COVID-21 or 22, so I'm not going to touch anything with my bare hands. I'm also going to wash my hands thoroughly afterwards. Let's explore this abandoned spooky house. Hello? Is anyone there? Guys, this is a bit creepy. I hope there's no snakes. Oh my god. So the bat has been living here and it has completely made the room dirty. No way that I'm going to sleep here tonight. This is disgusting. But it's also fascinating. Let's start the biology lesson. Nice. No way. These These are the wings of a white witch moth, the largest moth on earth. This bat has been eating white witch moths. No freaking way, dude. Here's a hind wing. Just look at that. So here's the proof that the white witches have their predators. Oh gosh. That's heavy. Let's enter this nasty room that's just completely littered with the remains of dead animals. Ugh. It's a little bit gross, if you ask me. Oh my god. No way. Do you see what I see? Oh my god. This is the wing of an owl butterfly. This bat has been eating owl butterflies. Wow! It has the iridescence even. Well, if I want to start like um, an online shop in butterfly wings, this bat should help me out. Wow! So this bat is eating owl butterflies, guys. Let's place all the interesting wings here on the bench for a moment. This is the wing of an owl butterfly. Let's see what... It stinks here. Ugh. Oh my gosh. This was also from an owl butterfly. And what do we have here? More remains. See that? I should could start a museum with this stuff. So here's the confirmation that owl butterflies, they fly in the dusk, unlike other butterflies, get eaten by bats. Wow, that's crazy, dude. 
in the center of the room it left a huge mess because this is directly under the light and I think the bat it hangs off this light when it's eating maybe like this is where it's resting so let's examine these remains oh my god are you kidding me no way oh my god that's a hummingbird! No freaking way, dude! That's so disturbing! Oh my god! Guys, this is so gross, but it's so fascinating. Oh my god, look, here's the feathers! Guys! I don't know what bed species lives here, but it has eaten a hummingbird did you know that oh my god poor creature I feel really bad for it though no way guys oh my god I'm shocked like its head I'm sorry if this is disturbing guys I'm so shocked right now Oh my god. This is insane, dude. Look at that, there's feathers and bones. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> the biologist in me is having a revelation. <gasps> no way. Oh my god. My god, guys, I'm shocked. I just found evidence that bats feed on hummingbirds. Just imagine that. I mean, it makes sense because hummingbirds are really small. But you have to wonder, how is the bat catching them? I do know that hummingbirds here, they, I see them fly very early in the morning, like when the sun is coming up. And I'm thinking, this early in the morning, there is a time where the bats are still active. There is a short moment, like the, the sun comes really uh, early, uh, early, very early in Brazil. I think it's around 5 o'clock, like 5.30, like the sun is just going up. And it's this moment, I think, before the bats go to sleep, that they catch and eat them. I wonder if this happens more often or if it's a freak accident. Wow. Guys, the biologist in me is shocked. <laughs> like, I don't know much about bats. Maybe my fans who are watching this video, they know more about bats than me and they're thinking, duh, but it's obvious, everybody knows this. Well, I didn't. This is to me like shocking. Oh my God. And now we can see what bats are finally eating in nature, in the rainforest. That's shocking. My God. All right, guys. I'm going to take all the things that I see off the floor that I find fascinating. So this is the wing of a giant hog moth, guys. So the hog moths, they don't escape the fate. Ooh. Now hog moths are very good at evading bats. But here's the proof that the bats sometimes win. So I'm gonna take all the wings from the moths that I like and the other insects here on this bench. This is a bit of it. This is going to be a really disturbing video. I'm just collecting remains. Oh my god. It's like a funeral. So what's this? Hmm. Oh, so this is this is a black witch moth. It, it was a female, a scaphala a scalafa odorata, this very common species here. In this part of Brazil and it's it's become a snack now these wings what is this stuff this is cockroach wings cockroach uh, this is from a leaf hopper actually I recognize it do you guys recognize it I made a video about this species once let me show you the video I made of it Yeah, that's the species right here. That's the species. <clears throat> that's
This is fascinating. I wonder what species of bat is doing this, though. I haven't seen the culprit, the perpetrator. So these clear things are the wings of a cicada. Looks like bats like to eat cicadas. And it's a huge mess. But it is fascinating, isn't it? The hummingbird has really shocked me. Like it's, I, I feel really, really shocked. Our butterfly wing. Ah, this is definitely a lot of butterflies. It's funny that it only eats owl butterflies. I have the feeling that bats only eat like the, the crepuscular butterflies. Because the day flying butterflies, they have to deal with birds instead of bats. So that's crazy. This is insane. This is the weirdest video I've made in a while. Let's collect the white witch wings carefully, guys, carefully. Bats have diseases, so it feels a little bit dirty to walk here. Hope I don't get like a real respiratory infection. Now, my channel is about butterflies and moths, and uh, I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on the moth wings and the butterfly wings that I see here. Because those are the ones I can easily identify. <coughs> what? Wow, it's been doing its best. Oh, some spider web is helping me. This is a crazy video. Probably the craziest video I ever made. What? Those of you who cannot handle nature for what it is, because I'm sure there's one person who is going to comment, Oh no, it's eating all the butterflies. I hate bats. I hate it. Please consider the crazy amount of cockroaches and other harmful insects that the bat is eating. Actually, I don't want to har label them harmful insects. Cockroaches are very useful. Moths are very useful. Bats are very useful and they all help each other, right? They all help each other, sometimes by eating each other. Now how does that help? Well, the bats regulate the amount of insects. It performs selection on the population. And in return, the insects keep the ecosystem healthy. They pollinate. They keep the plants, other insects eat the plants and the bat eat the insects, it's a cycle. That's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling a little, but my point is, it's eating a lot of insects, not only butterflies and moths, alright? Oh. Uh, right here around the corner there's even more of a mess what do we have this time? no freaking way guys there's more white witch moths oh my gosh so is the proof that the bats here consistently eat Tissania agrippina the white witch uh, two more hind wings and I just also found another black witch. So it turns out these witch moths uh, are a favorite lunch. Well, not a favorite, there's only a few compared to all the other insects. Here's the wing of a giant hog moth, actually. To see that, I wonder, could it have been like a Pachilia species? 
Hmm. Yep, maybe. Wow. Now, most disturbingly, here in the middle, once again we see feathers from a hummingbird. Oh my god. There's feathers here, see that? So, what does it mean? This is gonna be gross, guys. But look. Wow. Feathers. So finding hummingbird remains in two different places confirms for me that this is not an accident. Whatever species of bat is living here is eating the hummingbirds and it's hunting them. That's, to me that's crazy to imagine. Well, what else have we got? More cicada wings. Cicadas seem to be on the menu a lot, judging by this. Let's see. Cicada, hummingbird remains, also a lot of beetle elita, beetle shells. So let's let's do a nice zoom. It's probably the grossest close-up I've ever made. But who cares? It's biology, right? So here we see, oops, cockroach wings, cockroach antennae, cockroach, cockroach, cicada wings. Here's the remains of a hawk moth. Whoa! This must have been a very large piece of cockroach, I think. Let's hope I don't drop my camera on this garbage. Many is here. More legs of a black witch moth. Yeah. Let's see what other crazy stuff we've got. Leaf hopper wings, cockroach wings, small species of katydids. Gosh, this is gross. And it's funny how it spits out the wings. This is also cockroaches, cockroaches. Lots of cockroaches, really. So, there you go. It's good to see that they are eating some uh, <clears throat> tasty, juicy cockroaches, to be honest. <sighs> wow. There's more rooms here, too. Right, guys. There's another room. Let's see how much mess it has made in here. Hmm. Never expected my channel would go to a point where we are filming bad shit. Oh! Do you guys see what I see? Ah. Hang on. Why do each moth? Despite their enormous size, the white witch moth is clearly still on the menu. So here's the proof that being big doesn't always protect you from predators. In fact, sometimes it makes you prefer lunch. Well, that's about it. Some uh, white witch, but not too much in this room, actually. I'm guessing this is not the bat's favorite room, but we do see one thing that's very important. Do you guys see this? Do you see it? This, my friends, is a feather. I'm guessing it was another hummingbird. So in three out of the three rooms that we inspected, we found hummingbird remains. In every room I found the remains of white witches, black witches. 
So that's really what's on the menu. Cockroaches, beetles, leaf hoppers, black witches, white witches. Now we're getting an idea of the diet of bats here in Brazil. Of course, it's a generalization. There's many bat species and they all don't all eat the same insects. Now this room is a bit spooky because uh, the light is broken for some reason. Oh, there is some remains though. Let's see what we got. I suspect that the one who broke the light is the bat itself. Probably likes to sit on a light bulb because in every room the mess is directly below the lamps. So I'm thinking maybe it was too much pressure for this lamp to handle. Now I see the remains of uh, these wings are black witches, black witch moths, Ascalafa odorata. So this is a pair very popular on the menu. More and yep, here we go again. I'm less shocked. I'm uh, I've accepted the fact. But once again a hummingbird feather. At least that's what I assume. I can't even tell from one feather. So let's see. Broken glass. Hmm. Definitely less in this room though. I think the first room that I inspected is definitely its favorite room. Let's see, is there anything here? Nope. Nothing here. Nope. Nope. Alright, just some uh, black witches and I should be careful. This is the broken glass. Let's go out of here. Now guys, there's a very important message that we can take away from this moment. And um, it's a beautiful message if you ask me. See, here's the thing. This is a channel of insect lovers. For some people it may be tough to see the remains of literally thousands of insects. Maybe some of your favorite species just spit out, discarded like that. But let me tell you that one of the most important functions that insects have in the environment, and I'm not saying that everything needs to have a function, it's a very human way of thinking that everything needs to have a function. But the truth is that insects are very important for our environment. So I'm going to use the word function here. One of the most important roles that they have is being food for other animals. In fact, insects are the most important animals in any terrestrial ecosystem. They pollinate the plants, they pollinate the flowers, but so many species completely rely on insects. And I'm talking about stuff like bats, but also anteaters, songbirds, reptiles, like the majority of frogs, they just eat insects and invertebrates. Frogs, uh, a lot of snakes even um, eat them. How about stuff like salamanders, you know? Uh, they eat a lot of aquatic insects and terrestrial insects, of course. So just think about it. Lizards, geckos, most of them are insectivores, right? So you start to think like without insects we wouldn't have a lot of animals and plants. I think this video, even though it's gross and some people are thinking, Ugh, I don't want to see bad poop and spit out dead insects and hummingbird remains. No, it's a good way to visualize like how they sustain how insects sustain other animals as well. I don't know how many bats live here, it could be one or two. I think it's like a large species that I saw here. But if you count how many, how many dead insects there are, there's, I think there's in the hundreds, uh, for sure. So just to sustain one bat, you need hundreds if not thousands of insects in the environment. Because they certainly feed it, right? It's just like humans, I'm pretty sure most of you like to have a steak or a chicken nugget sometimes. It's consumption, right? 
And it's the same in the animal kingdom. So that's, that's funny. And I think this video is a beautiful way to visualize that. Hope not everybody is turned off and uh, thinking this is a stupid or gross video. It's interesting in a way to, to explore this topic and to just see it with your own eyes, you know. Like this is just one or two bats. Now imagine the thousands of bats that live here in the rainforest. The thousands of birds and other insectivores that need to consume insect every day. And you start to realize how many insects are required to sustain some of these other animals. And why it's important that insects don't disappear from the environment, right? Because without insects, they would, these, these bats would have an empty stomach. And so would any, many other animals, you know. And these animals feed other animals as well. So you see how the whole ecosystem collapses. I think it's really... It's fascinating. It is fascinating. Let's continue a little bit. This could have been the hogmoth pseudosphinx tetria, maybe. Plumeria hogmoth. I believe this is the hindwing of a Coquitia species, and Coquitias are literally some of the biggest hogmoths that you can find in Brazil. Not some of the biggest, they are literally the biggest hogmoths. So there you go. Biggest moths out here still getting eaten. This road here was Phoenix varigiata, the weird waxy leaf hopper that I filmed in several of my other videos that I made in Brazil. Whoop! Back to the floor, dirty one. Now there is one thing I want you guys to consider. If the bat catches small species of moths, it's going to swallow them whole probably. It's not going to take them to its lair to pluck them. I think it only does that with larger insects. Just to not give you the impression that it only eats big species. But I do think that we only find the wings of big species because like, if you have a big moth you want to pluck the wings because it's too much. Tiny ones. I don't know, I think it just instantly swallows them. I don't know, I'm not a bad expert, but it just makes sense to me, right? Well, there you go, folks. There's our collection of wings of some of the world's largest butterflies and moths. And it's still getting eaten. I'm wondering though, where are the Saturnid wings? I have hawk moths. I have witch moths. Hmm. Thing is, maybe they just eat them whole without spitting out the wings. Who knows? <gasps> <coughs> My god. Well, there you go, guys. That was a very funny, strange, unusual video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like the show, like and subscribe. And consider becoming a member of my Patreon. Because this channel is permanently demonetized by YouTube. And they refuse to tell me why. Donations help me make more videos, but of course are never mandatory and only if you are willing and able to afford it. Ciao guys, see you next video.